Okay, so lesson 74 is scientific notation. A couple of different problems here. First, just a review of what scientific notation is. If I ask you to write the number 4,562 in scientific notation, we want to write that as um, a number multiplied by a factor of 10. And we have to write the first number it has to be a number between 1 and 10, not including 10. And so we need to see where we're going to move the first decimal point. We're going to move the decimal point over until we get a number between 1 and 10. Like I said, not including 10. So we move the decimal point here and we get 4.562. Now scientific notation asks us to multiply that number by a power of 10 so that it equals 4,562. We can decide what power of 10 it is by the number of times we've moved the decimal point. If we move the decimal point to the left, then the number is positive. If we move the decimal point to the right, then the exponent would be negative. Here we moved it to the left, so that would be the answer. 4,562 times 10 to the third would be how you would write that as scientific notation. Let's do a different one. Let's do um, 0 0.4562. Here, this problem is different. We have the decimal point over here, and we're going to need to move it to the right until we get to a number that has that is between 1 and 10, not including 10. So we're going to move it over just 1. So we get still uh, we still get 4.562, and this time the exponent, the number of times that we multiply by 10, is 10 to the negative 1. We moved it over this way. We moved it over to the right. So that makes the exponent negative. So 0.4562 written in scientific notation would be this, 4.562 times 10 to the negative 1. And that's just the basics of scientific notation. Now you can get into a different kind of problem that, that for example, that asks you to write 0 0.0030316 times 10 to the negative 7. In your homework, it might ask you to write this in scientific notation. And you might say, well, it already looks like it's in scientific notation. It has a number multiplied by a power of 10. Well, it is not in scientific notation because this first number is not a number between 1 and 10. So we have to first write, we're going to ignore this part for now, and we're just going to write this number alone in scientific notation. So taking a look at this, we need to move the decimal point over 1, two, three, four, four times to the right, which gives us 3.16 times. Since we moved it four times to the right, this becomes negative four. 0. 0.000316 becomes 3.16 times 10 to the negative four in scientific notation. But we still have this to, to contend with. So we still have to multiply this number by that. So we'll add that on the end. And now we can look. We can this um, are like terms, so we can multiply them. So we will keep our 3.16, and then we will multiply 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the negative 7. So you just simply add the exponents. Negative 4 plus negative 7 equals negative 11. So that's our answer. 3.16 times 10 to the negative 11 is this multiplied together in scientific notation. So let's try one more that looks similar. If we start again with our 0 0.000316, and this time it's being multiplied by 10 to the 7th. And the problem in your book asks you to write this in scientific notation. So we do the same thing. We begin by just ignoring this, this term for now and just focusing our attention on this first term and changing this number right here into scientific notation. So again, we move the decimal point over until we get a number between 1 and 10, not including 10. We get 3.16, and we moved it to the right four times. So it's 10 to the negative 4. Now we need to go ahead and this represents this. So now we have to multiply it by 10 to the 7th, which gives us 3.16. Then when we multiply... 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the 7th, we simply add the exponents. Negative 4 plus 7 equals 3. So 
That is our answer, 0. 0.000316 times 10 to the 7th, written in scientific notation, is 3.16 times 10 to the 3rd.